Hey to you, welcome back. I guess in one of our previous videos, we did talk about um, how to design WhatsApp. We did go through the high level design of WhatsApp. Um, in, in, this, in, in the previous video, we did talk about the functional and non-functional requirements. And also we did talk about the quest estimation. After that, we go through high level design of, um, of WhatsApp and we went through each component and what it will do. And today we will go through the database design of WhatsApp. So, um, yeah, so we were talking currently on the, 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 the relational database schema designed for a scalable chat system supporting both one on one chats and group conversation as well, including media support. So, um, first we could start, um, let me get my pen here. So first we could start with the um, user table. We have here the user ID and the user ID, it's an integer. It's a primary unique user identification identificator that we use Twitter to identify with. We have the name, the name, it will be like a var, uh, var car or a var character. Uh, it's a user's display name. Um, we have the phone number, it will be a var character as well. Um, and it's not a number because maybe some users can add like plus uh, 49, for example, if they are living in Germany or something like that. So they can add more characters than, than numbers. So this one, it will be the optional phone number. Um, uh, we might have uh, also profile picture URL, which will link to profile image in the plop storage that we did talk about in our previous video. Um, next, we have the conversation table. So we have here, we start with the conversation ID. The conversation ID is it's, as well, the primary key represents the chat thread. We have the type, the type, it will be like maybe, um, it will be an enum, it will be maybe a direct, like one-on-one, -on -one, uh, one-on-one chat or a group chat. Um, we have the last message ID, that's basically um, helps load the latest message fast. Um, Next, we have the message by itself, this table. So we have the message ID, and the message ID is, it is the primary key unique identifier for the messages. We have the conversation ID. It's um, a foreign key which a conversation this message belong to. We have the sender ID. It's a foreign key to users who sent this message. We have the message type. This one is enum. It will be like maybe like text, image, video. Maybe it helps render the message properly, uh, uh, proper, properly, in the proper way, properly. Um, we have the content message. It's a four character. Uh, the content message is the actual text or the actual text content for text messages. We have the media URL. This media URL like file path for images, videos, um, empty if the text is only message. And we have status. The status, the status will be enum. It will be like maybe the, the status of the message. Is a message sent, delivered, read, something like that. Um, next, we have the group um, table. So we have here the group ID. And as always, the group ID is the primary key. We have the group name. It's the display name of the group. And it's a var character. We have um, the created by. It's, I guess, the user who created this one. And it could be um, um, a character, or maybe it could be also a foreign key as well. Like, could be both. We have here the profile picture of the group. It's uh, yeah, it's uh, the URL that we the, the image that we store in Amazon S3 and the CDN. And lastly, we have our groups member. So this one maps uh, users to groups. Um, so it's a, a classic many-to-many -many relationship. So here we have a group ID. Oh no. We have um, how to uh, erase this. I guess there is a way to erase it. What? I don't know. Okay, let's live with it. So we have here group ID. It's an integer. We have a user ID. It's an integer as well. It's, yeah. Uh, we have a role, which basically talks about if is this um, um, member an admin or a normal member we have a joint at it just um, will show the timestamp for um, for consistency if we need it 
um there are some improvements that we can add we can maybe add like um uh, instead of adding var character everywhere we can add like time uh, um, uh, use a timestamp for all uh, time fields we can use some indexing like add indexed on uh, composition id send id and and the messages as well in sent at the messages we can add if you want to think about scalability we can partition messages by conversation id also if you want to talk about uh, some foreign keys like security define um, fk constraints for data integrity also in terms of consistency we can use uuid instead of um, integer if uh, globally unique id are quite needed in terms of naming like we can fix um, yeah, I don't know what we can fix. No, I guess it's okay. It's okay for that. So yeah, um, this is was a quick uh, schema design or sch database schema design of the WhatsApp system that we talk about. So yeah, that's it for this video and see you in future videos. Bye-bye.